done like this is if you'll notice it's got a slight tilt to it yeah you know from the side yeah and the reason is is that when you hang it uh you want to hang it to the south and the east rather than the north and the west because that keeps bad weather out of them you want them hanging up like under an eave or someplace where they're relatively sheltered and then the tubes what happens is or what my what mama bee does is that she let me see if i can get one out there we go is she lays, she usually seals off the end of it. She plays a little piece of pollen in there, lays an egg, seals it off with a bit of mud. Then she does, puts another piece of pollen, another egg, seals it off with mud. And she goes all the way down the length of the tube. And that keeps the bad weather out. And the hooks are provided to hang in, but you can do the same thing with well, it's the a, It's a nice, I like that one. You That's... can do the same thing. These are hydrangea stems. Right. You can kind of poke a, a coat hanger down through them to make sure that they're hollowed out. Do the same thing, hang it in a tin can, hang your tin can up. If you're even cheaper, <laughs> you can even use bamboo. Do the same thing, cut off in between sections. You want the thin ones, they don't like the thick. You want the thin stems like that, just bundle them up, hang them up. All works the same way, just gotta give them a place to do their thing. But these are too big and too short. Well, Tracy, I appreciate it. No sweat, I'm a natural, you know.